All right, the truth is, fear truly can kill you. And there is no greater example of this than in public speaking. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback, I'm, um... All right, so let's be sure that you learn how to speak confidently in all situations right now. This is Chris, your friendly neighborhood fitness man, and this is Get Fit Now. Take it easy. All right now, in this open collaboration, we're gonna attack one of the greatest issues that most people are fearful about today. Michael? Mm -mm. No, not that. Nice guess, but no. Do you want to build a wall? Well, that's a really good guess, but that's still not it. The Say It With Your Chest open collaboration is gonna go after public speaking. Our collaboration host, Life of Dre, he truly understands that many people have amounts of fear that are astronomical to overcome when it comes to public speaking. So, all the creators have gathered here together to give you their fear squashing tactics so that you can share all of your sweet and crunchy goodness with the world. What? What are you talking about? Sweet and crunchy what? Don't make no sense. Mm. The truth is, I have been speaking publicly my whole life. No, 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 please no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no, it's, it's not that big a deal. Because the truth is, you have been also. Not sure about that one. Not sure about that at all. The reality and the truth of it is that speaking, no matter who you're talking to, is public. So you are all experienced public speakers. Now, I'd like to use an example to explain why there's fear associated with public speaking or speaking in general. To make my point, say, okay, take a two by four, lay it on the ground, right? You can walk on that two by four. That two by four can be 20 yards long and you could walk on that two by four for 20 whole yards laying on the ground, all right? You take that same two by four and you raise it 20 feet in the air, all right? Now, all of a sudden, that walking is not possible. You're paralyzed with fear. Now, the truth is, you're not afraid of walking. You know how to walk. You haven't forgotten how to walk. You really, truly, and just by raising that two by four 20 feet in the air, you didn't develop a fear of walking. But what you do have now is a fear of falling, all right? And public speaking is exactly the same thing. So let's get this straight. So walking on lumber is like talking to 15,000 people. Is that where you're going with this? See, this is what happens when you eliminate meat from your diet. You lose your mind. Okay, moving on, right? So actually being able to grasp and understand the concept I'm gonna share with you will transform your public speaking into a relationship that you have with your best friend or somebody close in your family, a place where you won't, feel, you won't have fear about being possibly ridiculed, mocked, or judged. And you will be truly safe to express all of your sweet and crunchy good. Wait, hold it, stop. Get so worked up about it. I am not sweet and crunchy. Stop saying that. Okay, okay, all right. So then you are safe to express your brand of unique awesomeness with the world. Better? Yeah, better. That works. Good, right? Confidence is so important, mainly because it's the confidence that gives us the ability to walk on that two by four without the fear of falling. So in speaking to the camera or speaking to groups, confidence is what will give you the ability to erase fear. All right, so what you have to remember moving forward is when you have a public speaking event or some sort of a social event where you're gonna have to be engaging with other people, it's important that you remember the reality of the situation. The two by four is on the ground, right? And think of the best relationship that you have with somebody, a relationship with you where you are never mocked, never ridiculed, and never judged. Keep that relationship in your mind when you're having the interaction because the truth is that in this situation, you are not going to be ridiculed, mocked, or judged. You have a fantastic message to share. So go ahead and share it. Share it confidently, share it enthusiastically, and everything will be just fun. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and leave a comment, and also be sure to share this video with somebody who would like to share some of their sweet, crunchy goodness with all the world. Now, what did I tell you about that? No more of that. Enough of that. Nothing wrong with being sweet and crunchy. It's not a bad thing. I hope you enjoyed this open collaboration with Life of Dre. And always remember, say it with your chest. Yeah, it's the same guy. Mm, yeah, yeah, yes, that. And always remember, the power to change is within us all. And when we realize that power, anything in life is possible. I'll see you next time on Get Fit Now. Take
He may not have a fear of speaking, but me, I, I get a little bit tense sometimes when dealing with folks. So what, what I have, I got a nice, fuzzy, comfortable little friend that I like to talk to and deal with. Calms me right down, smooths things out. So I'm able to just express myself openly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What? And, oh. uh, and you get on me for sweet, crunchy goodness? Oh, you hypocrite. Oh. Well, <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. Mm -mm, no, listen, listen. Don't want to uh, hear it. No, no, I was just playing. I was just playing. I, I don't, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need that. That's not what I did. <laughs>